Welcome to No Excuses. My name is Mary Fran and this is my place to come and talk about weight loss, life, fitness, everything that goes together to make me the most awesome me that is possible. So I'm thankful that you are here. Welcome. If you are new here or if you haven't already done so, go ahead and hit that notification bell, subscribe, like, comment, do all of that because I love the interaction and it really does help keep me motivated. So thank you. Today we are going to talk about my previous week and all of my weight loss efforts. And the week started out, I was gung-ho. I had maintained over that little mini vacation and I was gonna nail this week. And I had my plans in line. I'm gonna do this, I'm gonna do that, and training is gonna be over and I'm not gonna be training the new hires anymore and so I'm gonna be able to have my breaks back and do my exercise bike and all kinds of plans and activities. And kind of went up in smoke. On the weekend, we actually spent some time and I did go buy a new dollhouse off of the Facebook Marketplace and I love my dollhouse, but it is huge and I feel guilty about that because it is taking up a lot of room in our house and we don't have a lot of room as it is. As you can see, I, my office actually is the bike bedroom, which is also where I exercise. Yeah, worked really in here tight. But after we did that, we did go for a small hike and I was just so tired. And on Sunday, I slept and I was just in a fog and everything was hazy all day. I was just exhausted. And with that said, I ate more food than I needed to eat. And on Monday, it just struggled. I never ate really horribly. My calories were always about 14 to 1600 calories. So I did not go crazy on my food but yet I saw my weight pop up to 248 pounds, which is six pounds more. And I'm like, this is just not good. This is not good. Now, granted also, I was probably a little dehydrated. The monthly ick came. And I personally think that it's, my hormones are way messed up because I'm getting older and things are just, eh. So I'm going to say that that could be some of it, but it was just disheartening because here I am, I'm eating only 1,400 to 1,600 calories and my weight is going up by six pounds. It's just not possible. I tried to keep it in line. I tried to bring it in check and by my official weigh-in this morning, I actually weighed in at 245 pounds, which is three pounds up. I don't know. I am so disgusted with this because I'm eating 1400 calories, 1500 calories. That's what I ate this week. I ate really good. I don't know. It really makes me want to give up because why should I be trying when I can't get anywhere? It's the most frustrating, helpless feeling. I make great plans and then boom, it goes up in smoke. I say I'm going to do this and it just doesn't work and I don't even know what to do. So yeah, there's a part of me that wants to give up. I am not giving up. I made my plans for last week and I was going to ride the exercise bike because the training class was going to be over and then training went on and then I got put into a new training to help the new hires with a different process so it continues so best laid plans just didn't happen but that's okay because i'm still here i haven't given up even though i feel like it and even though i feel helpless i am not giving up because i want to be healthy and i want to live the best life possible so what am i doing i'm not really sure to be honest with you I am going to continue eating healthy. I'm going to continue to try to keep my calories as low as possible and in a nice healthy range, not, not as low as possible, in a healthy range. Because I'm not gonna starve myself, that's not healthy. The plan for right now is we are going on vacation in a couple weeks and I am tempted to give up until vacation and say let's just start after vacation, but I can do a lot of damage in that couple weeks and I don't want to so I'm going to do my best to try to at least maintain maybe get myself back down to that 242 and hold tight on that because that's it so my game plan right now is just to hang tight 
hang tight. Now when I get back from vacation, I should be done training, should be. Um, and I plan on getting back to lunchtime exercise and to doing some of these things around the house that I can actually do to help better myself and my health. In the meantime, like I said, I'm just hanging on. Um, reading a lot about hormones and getting older because I think some of that has something to do with it. I don't know. It's a very helpless feeling. It is a very helpless feeling. And I'm trying to tell myself that you've done it before. And I'm trying to tell myself that I'm so close to that 100 pounds. I am like 10 pounds away from 100 pounds gone from my highest weight. And I'm trying to tell myself that, Mary Fran, you've done amazing. But I'm just feeling really helpless right now. There are no excuses. Even though I feel helpless and even though I feel like I can't do anything right with this weight loss journey right now, there are no excuses. I'm not giving up. Don't you give up either. No excuses.